Howdy, Redesert Boy here. Let's take a look today at the uh, Sig Sauer P226 Mark 25. This was the first Sig that I got in my first double action, uh, single action type of firearm. So let's take a look at it. So let's take a look at our Sig Sauer uh, P226 Mark 25. Open the case. I've had this one for a while, but you always want to read the operator and safety manual. It's always good to review that uh, whenever you take it out, go and go to the range, uh, maybe do a little cleaning. Uh, when you do get it, they have a decal with it, you know, uh, and there's also a certificate in here talking about the fact that the Mark 25, uh, uh, they declare that it's a, a SIG P226 Mark 25 pistol and as was delivered under contract to the U.S. and United States Navy uh, talking about um, the fact that it was NSWC inclusive of components, coatings, and markings. So it says this was uh, a sidearm, still is maybe in some cases, of uh, Navy SEALs in particular, but there's other law enforcement agencies and, uh, and military agencies that use it. When you originally get the pistol, there's a chamber flag in there. This particular pistol, when I received it, you know, of course, it has a lock, it has some oil, it has that information, and it came with two mags. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll set this aside and we'll check the weapon safe here. So, as you can see, I've uh, got one of the magazines out here, it's, it's empty. And uh, take this one out, it's empty. And we'll go ahead and check the weapon safe. This has a decocker on it. One of the things about uh, Sig Sauer that I like, I know there's some other manufacturers that have a similar design, is that it does have a decocker so that whenever you, you, know, you put your uh, magazine in there, and in this case, of course, it locks back because it's empty. But if we were chambering around, um, we could go ahead, and once we chamber it around, we could go ahead and decock this and uh, put it back to the double action, single action state. Now we have checked this weapon uh, uh, unloaded and uh, the chamber is empty. So we'll go ahead and uh, the trigger pull initially because it's double action, single action is very a very hard trigger pull. And then what would happen of course is normally the weapon would, would cycle and uh, We'll uh, go ahead and release this so that it can go, ahead and go back to its uh, normal state. So we'll cycle through and we'll look at the trigger reset. Once after it does double action, it goes into single action mode. So you come out, the trigger resets a little ways out there. And then when you give that a pull, it releases. It's not the shortest reset trigger, but if we take the magazine out and look at that again. We cock the gun, let's decock it. Let's go ahead and give it a trigger pull. Oh, one other thing about this particular one I meant to mention is it has a magazine disconnect. So, you cannot pull the trigger when the magazine is out of the gun. In this case, we could do that. And uh, we could eject the magazine if we wanted to and we'll reset it. Now, let's add the magazine in here again in order for the uh, for the trigger pull to work. There's the reset and there's the single action socket. A couple other features about it. It's got a, the uh, 1913 type rail. It's an accessory rail that you could put a light, you know, maybe a laser, uh, anything else that you might think is uh, appropriate. Um, the magazines deject very very easily um, in addition to um, that if you want it there's also a loaded chamber indicator on the top of these and of course it has uh, serrations if you want to do a little check right down in there um, it's a 4.4 inch barrel on these this is a full-size pistol it has a uh, 7.7 .7 inch overall length and it has a uh, 
1.5 inch width with a 5.5 inch height and a weight of 34 ounces. And I realize that's uh, without it being loaded, so it gets a little heavier when you load it up. One of the things that's nice about it is it does have it does have um, the Treaty of Night sights on it. It's the three dot system in this particular weapon. So what if we wanted to go ahead and take it down? Go ahead and take the magazine out, of course. Make sure the weapon is unloaded, All right? Um, we can go ahead and put that down. Bring the, um, lock it back, excuse me, lock it back. Bring the uh, lever down. And then you can go ahead and release this. It slides apart, very simply. Inside um, has your, your recoil spring. You always want to be cautious with that. And it has a steel guide rod, which is nice to have, right? Some some SIG pistols like the SP2022, a plastic one, and the barrel's right here. This is what you would do for cleaning and, uh, you know, maintenance on it. So we reassemble it, put this back in here, of course. Um, that in place. We always want to make sure we get this back in here correctly. It's always good to make sure you're wearing some kind of eye protection whenever you're doing anything with these springs. Make sure we're all set up after we clean it. Of course we lubricate anything that we would need to do with that. Pull it back. Come back here. We could come back here, lock it back, bring the levers up, release it, decock it, and of course ready to go again so it's not that difficult to take down um, it is a bit heavy you know in some ways it has an alloy frame it has a stainless steel slide um, but uh, it's uh, very good as far as shooting it. it's very you know it's pretty precise and on uh, it doesn't have the the uh, shortest reset trigger in the world some people sometimes might like that, you know, you probably should get a SIG maybe that has that already that way. Although I suppose there are ways it could be modified, but you know, personally I, I like it as it is. It, it does the job it needs to do, which is just being an enduring um, firearm that's, you know, made for uh, going out to the range and, and just really working it uh, through its paces and getting proficient at it. A couple other things, these magazines are 10 round magazines. When I when I purchased this, I was in a, a state which only allowed 10 round magazines. There are other magazines out there if your state allows it. So you always want to comply with all your local state and federal firearms laws in accordance to, you know, magazines, whatever guns are allowed, any carry laws, any concealed carry permits. Always make sure you're in compliance. Since I relocated to a different state, um, I did get a 15 round magazine as you can see they really don't look really not that much different in size however you can see the difference over here that shows you one's 15 and one's 10. Um, you can also get uh, 20 round magazines for it it extends it a little bit and as you can see these are empty put that in there it gives a little extension to it maybe when you're shooting more long distance I found that gives you a little something extra down here uh, for aiming but that's uh, you know it just depends on what your preferences are and what's allowed in the location where you live this is a magazine carrier that I got for a magazine uh, holder for it uh, for the belt and uh, this one has a Blackhawk one if I remember right I also did a recent video on inside the waistband for a Galco holster for this gun, the, the Sig Sauer uh, P226 Mark 25. Um, for my paddle holster, I have a Phobos holster that is an outside the waistband one that it fits in uh, pretty nicely and it comes out and it holds it in there pretty positively. So, just a couple things to look at with the P226 Mark 25. Um, um, once again, it's a nine millimeter, so uh, I believe you can get them in other calibers, but this one was in a nine for me. Once again, I found this to be very reliable, 
and uh, I really do think it's a it's a good a good uh, option for you if you're looking for semi-automatic handgun. Price was around about a thousand dollars compared to like an SP 2022, more like 500 for that. They both are good in different ways, and uh, as I mentioned before, my other price and size comparison with that and, and those two in the P938. Anyway, be safe out there. Make sure that uh, that you're following all your laws, as I said, and uh, and enjoy uh, each day. And have a good day and a, and a good week. Thank you.